Hello again. Former Eastern Cape MEC Cindy Swakombay back in court today in the case involving funds that were intended for Nelson Mandela's funeral. The charges include fraud and money laundering. Two of the 14 accused have requested a separate trial. Now, watching this story for us is senior reporter Aviwe Mdila. He's joining us now live from the East London, the Buffalo City Metro. Good afternoon, Aviwe. So what's the latest in this case? W what's happening? Well, by Dan, we are officially in the trial now. The three days from today till Friday has been set aside. Uh, for the pleading for the 14 accused to plead their innocence or guilt and the other matter is the separation of trial that's been requested uh, by accused 11 on this matter in fact today they've already all pleaded not guilty to the 27 counts that they face one of them of course is the former MEC of health in the Eastern Cape Cindy Swakomba who joins me right now mama thank you for joining us at ENCA but the NPA seems certain that they have a watertight case and will prove the guilt um, of the 14 accused. What's your take in this, given that you've already pleaded not guilty? Uh, taking me as an example, I invite them to prove their case, and I will also be proving my innocence and not guilty on the matter. Uh, first and foremost is that I am only answering to, 20, to four charges out of 27 charges. And all those charges are actually related to work that to a certain extent you start to wonder how did you get to be included in such things. If, if you take one of the charges here, which is serious, it's a charge that says I was part of a group in common purpose that actually adjudicated on a tender. How would I do that? MFMA is clear. Politicians, in particular, councillors, as I was a councillor at the time, they don't play a role on procurement. Secondly, the processes of procurement have got their three committees. Which committee did I serve? Because they have to come up to say which committee did I serve. And if they have got committees, they must bring their own register because everybody signs after the outcome of such a meeting and endorse. Then I am waiting with interest as to how are they going to prove that. Secondly, if you listen to the dates that are set here, they are very wide. They say between a time in 2013 and a time in 2014. Are you sure you have a case if you are dealing with issues like that? Because my view is that a case should be objective. Should be able to pinpoint exactly at what point are you arrested and at what is exactly that that you did. You don't find that. Because once a case is open-ended, then it frustrates you. Well, there seems to be an issue around your legal representation. Even you were told in court yeah, um, to come back with the legal representation on the 11th of April or else um, stand for yourself and represent yourself. What's the issue there? The issue is simple. We've been claiming that this has political motivations, this case. When, no, when we are having a problem, when NPA would come and postpone all the time, nobody cared. Buffalo City was paying as a policy matter in Buffalo City for our costs. However, when we fought the last time for the NPA not to postpone but rather go to trial, immediately Buffalo City came back and said it's stopping payment. And it's relating that to the former president case, Dr. I mean, UJZ. It's rather funny. It's a matter that, of course, we're challenging. However, if that happens, then it suggests that we are not able in the manner that you know. If I got sacked as an MSC, where do you think I get money from? So obviously I don't have funds. So for any defense, because lawyers by their nature are business people, you have to pay them. So if you can't pay them, they have a right to withdraw. However, they have withdrawn at a good time because we've got enough time now that we can plan for April. Okay. Thanks. Thank you very much. That's the former MEC of Health in the Eastern Cape, Cindy Swakoma. In fact, sacked from her position because of this very case that's uh, still ongoing. I want to bring in now the NPA spokesperson, um, Tunzi Magam. Nomkulu, thank you for joining us at ENCA. 27 cases. All of the accused have pleaded not guilty. How certain are you of a successful prosecution? We, we've always maintained that with the evidential material that has been presented to us by law enforcement, 
we are confident that we will secure a conviction against all the accused in respect of all the 27 counts. Though none of them gave any clear plea explanation, it was basically a bad denial, but with that we can work with it in terms of presenting our evidence. Former MEC of Health suggests that this is politically motivated. We have never considered political considerations or factors in determining prosecutorial decision-making process. That has never played a role in our decision-making as the NPA. We look beyond that. Okay. Now we understand the next three days set for that pleading and just clearing out whether there will be separate representation. Uh, will we see any delays now going forward? We are opposing the separation of trials because we believe that it's going to cause a delay and it's going to prejudice our case in terms of presenting witnesses and they would have to be subjected to examination twice because if you separate trials it means that you'll have those witnesses testifying twice and that's undesirable. It's not in the interest of justice and in the interest of the prosecution, the witnesses and all the accused persons in fact for them to be separated. Okay, thank you very much. Mtunzi Maka is the NPA spokesperson talking on that issue that will be uh, on the table tomorrow. The separation of trial, uh, something that accused number 11 has asked for, and you heard that the NPA will be opposing that, but all the uh, co-accused just said it's something that they won't oppose. That will be heard at the Bishaw High Court tomorrow, and then thereafter uh, the official trial then set from the 11th of April and going right through into June, Bradan. Thank you very much, Avi Wimtila, in East London. Well, it